Let us pray. <clears throat> Heavenly Father, help us to be clean and pure in your eyes. Help us to wash others, to be forgiven and to forgive. In your name we pray. Amen. Washing feet. There's a couple reasons why Jesus did this. Number one, any guesses? It's real simple. They were dirty. They were dirty. It was practice for this place and this time that when you had company come over, one of your servants, if you had any, or the, the lady of the house or one of the ladies, would wash the dust from their feet. Because, as you know or might know, they walk either barefoot or in sandals on dirt roads. And so their feet got dirty. In order to come to your house, they had to get messy. And so it was good practice. It was hospitable. To let them freshen up. But this number one, this uh, freshening up, this practice, had something a little more significant to it when Jesus did it. You see, the feet were also an unclean part. And so the person who had that job generally wasn't too thrilled about it. But they did it as a sign of the esteem and love that they held for the people. As a sign of service. And the host of the party never, never washed the feet. That was just weird. So we have this teacher, this lord, this leader, this guy who arranged the whole thing, doing the washing. And I think it's because, as he said, you're clean, but not all of you. I don't think he was just referring to Judas. Let us let it go and forget. 